by the following trig identity. So first we'll get our common denominator, which will be cosine theta times one plus sine of theta. <laughs> so then uh, when we multiply this, we're gonna get, um, it's gonna be one plus sine of theta squared times our cosine theta. Or not cosine theta. Um, <laughs> plus, plus cosine squared theta, because the common denominator, it's going to be cosine theta, cosine theta. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So then what we're going to do here, when we FOIL this out, we get 1 plus 2 sine theta uh, plus sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. Now I can tell you by looking at this, this just becomes 1. So we have our 1 plus 2 sine theta plus 1. Um, so I'm going to just skip here a little bit. So we'll have 2 plus 2 sine theta um, over cosine theta plus sine theta. Uh, and we can factor out a 2, so we get 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta plus sine theta. And we end up with 2 over cosine theta. And this is like 2 times 1 over cosine theta. And the 1 over cosine theta is the same thing as um, secant of theta. So that's how it becomes 2 secant of theta. And that's how we prove it. That's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. I really appreciate you taking time to watch this video with me. And you have yourself a great day.